Hey, my wonderful, wonderful people, a pleasant morning to you. Yes, I went to watch, which I would encourage people to watch. It's a little long. I hope the next time they do it, they kind of cut it down pitchy patchy, but it was good. A lot of fun, a lot of jokes, you know, but you get some lessons from it. Um, a little too long, though. I hope they condense it for the next season all right um beautiful people i saw something and one of the things that i personally believe in is that we must balance fairness with justice you know as jamaicans we have a tendency to gr to latch on to the worst possible outcome of things we look at we always look at things from a negative vantage point as opposed to a balanced vantage point even balancing it with reality you know being realistic being optimistic not i wouldn't say to be pessimistic but to just be a realist and to understand the signs of the time and the time that we're living in and i'm saying this in light of at the there was an inspector course development course um that you know sergeants 99 sergeants had taken um, and they had the awards ceremony at the Marriott, the AC Marriott Hotel on November 12th. And they were promoted as inspectors, 99, just almost basically 100, you know, sergeants were promoted as inspectors. And I and I, I have to say heartiest congratulations to the powers that be. It seemed to be stemming from the prime minister um, and team in promoting these sergeants to inspectors. You know, they did the course. And then they were promoted because I was wondering if promotion was still a thing or was it a thing of the or it was it or is it a thing of the past? And to see 99 sergeants got promoted, that is commendable. You know, there is a saying that says to whom much is given, much is required. Some some say it, to whom much is given, much is expected, you know, but um, it's more than just an expectation. It's required of you. You can't operate willy-nilly. You don't operate like you now are an eagle or you're now in the, the, um, you're now in the lineage of an eagle. No longer are you a chicken. Not to say that anybody, not to say that sergeants were chicken. I'm just saying to you that, you know, more responsibilities now at your feet. So you have to operate completely differently. Not like little wayward ones. Because sometimes, trust me, see how some of the, the constables on oh no, Anyway, that's another story altogether. That is another because I know good, there are good constables out there. But some of you, you I don't know. I don't know. I, I find that sometimes people who don't really hold power think they have it, you know. But that's another conversation I don't even want to get into right now. But congratulations are certainly in order to the 99 sergeants who were promoted as inspectors. Please take your jobs seriously. Please take your jobs seriously. Whatever it is that the force orders, the laws of the land mandates you to do or things that are mandatory, do, the, do it to the best of your ability. You want to leave a legacy. One of the worst things is that when people are looking back at their lives, they're having a lot of regrets. They've done things that they are not proud of, that they're not pleased with, and it doesn't rest well with the conscience. There is a, you know, one of the things that people don't understand, God's in God's infinite wisdom, he built that conscience realm that it will be activated, even if it is deactivated for a moment and not used at its wanes. You know, even if people are given over to their reprobate minds, when they reach to the end of their lives at some point, that uh, portal is going to be activated, that conscience portal. And that is why you'll find people crying and begging for forgiveness, you know, and they are there in pain because all of the memory of all of what they have done that they should not have done and things that they should have done starts to play back in their minds. You know, that is why I wish most people were far-sighted and bark the ophthalmologists you know, uh, terminology that they use as opposed to nearsighted, meaning look down the road to see the side effects. Many of us, we don't do that. Even I, you know, sometimes we're guilty of just not looking down the road. We are too hasty. We're too in the flesh and we, you know, we don't think down the road. So we are nearsighted, I would call it, as opposed to farsighted. I'm not using it in the context of how the ophthalmologists 
may use it. So to whom much is given, much is expected. Congratulations are certainly in order. There are some people who have left the force broken hearted because they were they ended right at the sergeant at the cusp of just being a sergeant, not getting the 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 the, the opportunity or the the blessing of becoming an inspector, an officer, capital O, you know. And uh, um, it's an unfortunate situation, but congratulations are certainly in order. I like to see progress. I would love to see, you see that where you had a plethora of people, 99, that's good. Getting promoted, that's very, very good. And um, reward certainly sweetens labor, you know. Um, I would love to see that sort of promotion expanded to the other areas of the public sector. And even in private sector, I remember somebody made a comment that I'm always talking about public sector. And I said that I was in private sector, you know, TikTok wasn't prevalent and social media so much, you know, as now. And, you know, I'm being in public sector, it, it, I'm going to speak to what I'm a part of, but I want to extend that to the private sector as well, you know, because sometimes there is a sense of stagnancy and hindrance where there are people who are gifted, they're talented, they have the requisite competences skills behavior you know everything that is required for them to be promoted and it just doesn't happen because their negative attitude is not a part of their mantra in other words they're not so 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 they don't kiss butts um they don't gossip and sometimes it can be used against you yes unfortunately so your negative altitude, um, your negative attitude can determine your altitude. So in other words, a blessing really is not from God, because when God promotes, you know, it doesn't come from the east, the west, nor the south. God sets up and He puts down. And when Him sets you up, only Him alone can put you down. Only God alone can put you down, and He puts you up. When He puts you up, it's like you. It's a supernatural blessing that is unbelievable, and peace comes with it. Happiness, joy, unity, harmony. Yes, troubles and trials will come. You can't escape that. But when he promotes, my God. So I would love to see the relevant authorities extend that to other areas of the public sector, civil service, or, you know, to the civil servants, which is a part of the public sector. Those in private sector, if you know that they're good workers, promote them. You know, productivity across the board in Jamaica is not necessarily great. Because of things like these, I'm not saying that is the only thing, but morale is low. Morale is low. Low morale. People do feel dejected. They feel blackballed, ostracized, gaslighted, treated poorly. And they're very good workers. And in the end, the, the owners of the means of production will have the regret. Because these people have to build these fortune corporations, these companies, these organizations, these entities. And you have to treat them with respect and treat them with honor. So I would love to see the promotion extended in other areas of the public sector. Prime Minister, other MPs and all the relevant parties involved. Not just for the police officers. And please train the constables. Train them. Teach them customer service. Don't teach them. For, train them for just go power what for safety and can get a shilling or two from people. You know what I mean? Train them in the right way so that they can be balanced police officers where they protect, reassure, and serve. It will bring them joy in the long run. But certainly, I have to say this over, I have to reiterate this. The Prime Minister was, you know, behind this as well. Congratulations are certainly in order to the sergeants who are now inspectors. Congratulations to the Prime Minister for doing such and to the other members who contributed in them becoming inspectors. They did the course, they passed the course. So now you did the theory, please employ the theory to the practical and let them match. Let them have a symbiotic relationship. There should not be a disparity between the two. There should not be a gulf between the two. We shouldn't see one in darkness and one in light. So the theory is in light, but the practicality or the practical is in darkness. No. You want to see the mantra, your your um, mission and vision becoming one, married forever and ever. Guys, you know what to do, read TikTok and YouTube. Subscribe. No, me need a lion now. Time for me to get one of them lions.